At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Manchester United, and they take on Reading. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of the 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. And this confrontation is underway. The lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea stands between the posts. Casemiro plays alongside Christian Eriksen in the centre of midfield. And Wout Weghorst is the striker. We wondered who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. Promising sequence. Well, borderline offside, but correct. Well, there are many who regard Bruno Fernandes as the complete footballer. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Illegal play and hence a free kick. Jeff Hendrick. Mete. And can they make one of these passes count? Carroll. Can he do it to take the lead? The opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. So on they go again, and that really should shake up United. Can they find a response now? Marcus Rashford. Now Casemiro. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. Eriksson. Casemiro. And will it be the level? Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Yadom. Mete. Ince. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Takes some progress with the ball at his feet. 
That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Shaw. Wout Weghorst. Rashford. Now with Casimiro. To take the lead. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Ince. Yadom. Yakumete. It's with Tom Ince. Holmes. Tom Holmes. And it's with Hendrik. Carroll. Oh, could be. And the keeper more than equal to it. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, no end product. Marcus Rashford. Shaw. Fernandes. So two minutes of stoppage time here. He has time to play it over. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And with that, the first half comes to an end here at Wembley Stadium. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Can't miss, surely! Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. Carroll. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Can he do it? And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. They favoured a short one here. Carroll. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. So back at business, can Manchester United come up with an answer? Lisandro Martinez. Here's Luke Shaw. Over the top towards Rashford. And played in with haste. And the last touch off the defender. So a corner coming up. Time for a change then. And they're going for the short one. 
Fred, surely the equaliser. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Abdul Rahman Baba. Yaku Meite. This is looking threatening, but timely defending when it mattered. Bruno Fernandes. Anthony. Tremendous ball played through. That's all they can conjure for now. Twenty minutes to go in this one. Carroll. Plenty of options. Carroll. Crossing opportunity. He's using his strength to good effect. Will it happen for him here? Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Short corner favourite. chance to make it a brace but the keeper had his say well he has to get a second goal soon he's been brilliant today short corner it is and they need to get tighter can they forge ahead Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Ten minutes to go. Ericsson. Bruno Fernandes has it. And they're on the front foot, looking for a winner near the end of this game. Can he put them in front? And he clears it out of harm's way. Bruno Fernandes has it. Rashford. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. He continues his run. Rashford. And offside, just as he was ready to bounce. Coming off the pitch, number eight, Bruno Fernandes. And number 18, Kajmiro. Coming onto the pitch, number 39, Scott McTominay. And number five, Harry Maguire. Substitution for Reading. Coming off the pitch, number two, Andy Carroll. To be replaced by number 23, Julian Scott McTominay. Manchester United venture forward. Do they have a winning goal in their future? Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Well, the ball rolling again, no end to the action. It's the first period of extra time, and I must say, this has been a back-and-forth type of game. Jeff Hendrick. Abdul Rahman Baba. 
And the attacking options appear plentiful. How about the cross? Timely intervention. Scott McTominay. Harry Maguire now. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Will he finish? Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for. And he's come up with it. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. And the ball is moving again. 3-2. Lucas Joao. Now they stop them in their tracks. Being pressed hard. There will be one minute added on at the end. Scott McTominay. Ericsson. Is it going to be Christian Ericsson? Fred. The first period of extra time is over. 15 minutes left. Maybe after that, penalties. We'll see. And so, 15 more minutes. We're into the second period of extra time here. Corner kick to United, and an opportunity perhaps for them to make it look even better. Let's to go short. Fred. On to McTominay. And possession given away. How do they have it in them to level this? Time is not on the side. This corner could help the prospects as they look for an equaliser. Delivering it. Really meat and drink to the keeper under the circumstances. Given away by Manchester United. Yadom. Hendrik. Magnificent challenge to win it back. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today.
Yep, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic.